All right, we're back and uh, we're day 30. Thank you for sticking with it. If you've been binging these or you're just doing them one at a time as you're going through, thank you for hanging out and staying with the journey. We're just in the home stretch, just a little over a week left to go. And today we're looking at John's Gospel again, John 6, 16 through 21. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake where they got into a boat and set off across the lake for Capernaum. By now, it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing, and the waters grew rough. When they were rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were frightened. And he said to them, It is I. Don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. Our Devo today is from Nancy Richter. Have you been doing just fine when suddenly you face a dilemma? This is what this happens to the disciples. It was evening, and so the disciples went down to the sea. It was turning dark, but Jesus had ordered them to go before him to the other side. So the disciples got into the boat and started their journey toward Capernaum. Now it was dark and the wind started blowing greatly and the sea started rising. The disciples had to row the boat for several hours because the wind was going in the opposite direction. Suddenly, they saw a human frame walking quickly toward the boat. They were afraid, but Jesus told them it was he and not to be afraid. They received him into the boat and immediately the boat was at their destination. Jesus saw the dilemma his disciples were in. He came to their rescue. His walking on water, and his miracle of getting the boat to its destination immediately was one of the pieces of evidence of who he was. He was God's son. Jesus knew the greatest dilemma for everyone was sin. Jesus would soon face a very dark experience. His crucifixion showed his love for us. God, his father, made him who knew no sin, to be sin for us. He freed God's people from the power of sin. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world is our Savior. Let's put away any fear we might have during our lives and remember He is with us and loves us and we will live with Him for eternity. Thank you, Nancy. All right, so... Jesus walking on the water? I mean, this has to be one of the most commonly known miracles of Jesus, the walking on water. Uh, Hollywood likes to to do things with people walking on water to kind of show, you know, just the grandeur of what it would be. But this isn't a storm. It's in a storm that Jesus shows up. So Jesus told them, here's what they need to do. Here's what I'm calling you to do. Just a normal, ordinary thing. Get in your boat. Go to the other side. But suddenly, this time, it's different. And so what happens? Hour upon hour upon hour is spent fighting against what's come upon them. When has that happened for you? When you're just doing the thing that Jesus has told you to do, that you felt called to do, And it's the same as thing you've done before, but suddenly something seems different and the work is hard and you don't know if you can hang in there and you can get to the other side of the task you're supposed to be doing. If he's called you to be a Twitch streamer and you look at the number of people in your chat or your stream and you're going, I don't know if this is really what I'm supposed to be. But it used to be easy, and now suddenly I've had to switch my times. I've had to switch what I'm doing, and life has gotten away, and I can't do this anymore. Uh, 
if you stick with it, in the difficult times, Jesus is going to show up right in the middle of it. When you least expect it, when you may be ready to give up, wait a little longer. Watch, look, see the face of Jesus, show up, and get you completely through the thing so quickly that it'll be over in an instant. It'll be over, and you'll be through what he's called you to do. Now, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's something else that you're called to do. It's an ordinary thing, but it got hard. Don't give up, my friends. Rely on Jesus to see you through to the other side.